Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today I've had this requested numerous times, probably 20 or 30 times now, it's how to set up your track IR. So there's two different types of track IR. So this is not the same thing as virtual reality. This is, this is completely different. This is infrared head tracking. Um, there is the official track IR, which is the, the set that you buy. Now that costs $200, something like that, maybe even more. Um, that's much too much for uh, for me to spend. I could never have um, bought it if, if I bought that. A lot of people have, but that's fine. So we're not going to be doing a video on the official track IR. Loads of other people have videos about that, so go ahead and, and find that. Instead, I had to do the uh, what we call DIY track IR, do-it-yourself track IR. This is a much cheaper option. You can get this done for between $20 and $50, uh, depending how you want to do it. So DIY track AR, you either essentially make your own um, headset, and a headset is just something that clips to your, um, you know, your audio headphones and has um, three, at least three infrared uh, transmitters, which are that uh, fancy um, word for LEDs, which you can get pretty much for free. And you can do that. Or, uh, oh, and some sort of uh, desktop camera, which you can get for like $10, you know, a... Um, a, a webcam of some sort. Uh, I recommend, however, just doing it properly. Go buy a DLAN, DLAN clip. So I'm going to click on it here. You can see the website. That's the name, DLAN Engineering, uh, placed in England. So they sell you this clip here that clips to your um, headphones with three LED transmitters, a USB lead that you plug into your computer, as well as that they supply a used uh, PlayStation um, you know, webcam camera that comes with the modern PlayStation. Um, don't worry about the fact that it's used. They're absolutely fine. And again, they just plug into the USB on your computer, and you can get all of that delivered for like fifty dollars, which is just nothing. Just buy it like that. It's the best way overall. Um, I assume they still cost about the same. I, I paid fifty dollars, which is just about affordable. So once you've got that, you've plugged everything in. You need two pieces of software with DIY track IR. It's a track IR. It's uh, free open source software so that's great first thing you need is this look at what I'm hovering on Charlie Lima I test so that's the piece of uh, software that will run the PlayStation camera it's free so just go and download that once you've got that installed you click on it you do need to set it up only a tiny bit of setting up from my memory the only thing you need to do is go into options and look at that there video capture filter it's a filter for the camera and uh, just copy what I've got there. I don't have numbers for those, so just copy them as best you can to this video. Uh, you have to do that, otherwise the camera will not work. Uh, so what do they do? Well, they put it in uh, night mode, essentially. I think that's all I had to do. I don't remember changing anything else in here, and there's not many options, to be honest. So look at the display here. So you are actually looking at me with my PlayStation webcam. You can't see me, or you can just about see my head moving about there. Because I've set it to night mode, it basically filters all of my head out and all the background out, and just picks up the absolute bare, uh, uh, um, the strongest light sources, which are these three LEDs here, which are on my DLAN clip. And that's how you get this to work, this free bit of software working. You can see it moves left and right and up and down. And that is just about accurate enough to get information for head tracking. So that's that. Do that. Next, go and get a piece of free software called Open Track. Click on that. How it comes. This takes a little bit more setting up. So we'll just go through the settings as we go. I'm going to try and remember everything. Uh, so you'll need in the input Point Tracker 1.1, you'll need in the output free track 2.0 enhanced these are all features that come with it or are downloadable for free filter i use Accela, uh, so that's that profile i've just saved it as default.ini i don't think you need to change the, anything there uh, now this was installed i installed this about two years ago when i got track ir so it's version 2.3.1.5 there may be superior newer versions out there but this is what i've stuck with because it just works if one day it no longer works then i'll get the latest version Next, options. Uh, now, I can't remember exactly what options I changed in here. It was two years ago and I didn't remember them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly buzz through them. You can then pause um, each frame on your video and compare them to yours. That's going to be the best idea. That shortcuts. That's the camera. That's the output. That's the relative translation. 
that's the game detection. The only thing I remember changing is the game detection here. You've got to set up the particular game you want to use it for. In this case, it's Digital Combat Simulator we use. I don't bother with armor because eh, you don't really need it. So all I had to do was go and find the executable file. You press that there and you go and find the executable file for the game and just tell it. And that way you can uh, link and inform DCS that it um, has track IR input for it. Okay, let's cancel that. Then you've got the mapping. This is setting up the curves. This is something you do have to do. Otherwise, it will be just a really bad track, basically. And this is one that I've settled on. Lots of people want to copy my one, so that's fine. Now, I've got no way of really translating the data to you. Um, so basically, just again, freeze frame these and copy my curve as best you can. So you've got that one there in your. You've got pitch like that. Roll like that. X like that, Y like that, Z like that. So you go and copy that as best you can, and that's it. You just click start, and well, I can click it now. I think I've got everything set up. Start, and you can see it's if it works, I can move Mr. Octopus about, and I can move my points about. So do everything as I've said there, and then stop. Um, ideally, start this before running DCS, but you, the beauty about this uh, open track is that it's good software and it, you can actually start it once DCS is started. So that's pretty cool. So if you forget to start it beforehand, it doesn't matter. You don't need to do anything on the DCS side. Um, it's all DCS is already programmed to um, intercept any track IR um, software that you've got running. Um, so I, as I remember, I just turned DCS on with open track on and everything just worked. Simple as that. So remember all those settings, get the DLAN clip. $50, track OR, perfectly good, never crashes, never mm, crashes sometimes, but it's pretty good. I've never had any major problems. So I hope that helps and that puts that one to bed. Other than that, we'll see you later.